getting ready to show you how to thread a 35 millimeter projector. First thing you have to do is you have to put the frame in the middle of the film. You have to wind up the film from the last showing. Next step is you have to pull out the center ring which holds the film together. You have to thread the grain. Very complex so that the platter moves when the projector is pulling the film. If not, it will pull and break the film. Put the film through a series of rollers. Now every platter you come off has a different path. Come over here look at this. See how I went up through there and around? Okay, now we're going to go over to the projector. The light wasn't good in that so, part right there. Right. right through here. Because I was kind of blocking it. Thread the tension. Give it the Z pattern. The Z pattern. Okay. Let me get around here. Right here, Mike. Get a shot of the Z pattern right down here. Z pattern. See if we can get it. There, I think I got it. There you right go. Good. There you go. We got it. We go on the top roller to the film. So the film ends. This right here is white lead, so that when we're threading the projector, it's not actually going to the actual film. Now we have to thread the actual projector. See the projector. <laughs> First thing we have to do is we have to unclamp all the rollers. Pull our film, get some slack down there, some extra film. Thread the sound drum first, the sound reader. This particular projector is rather easy. The sound drum right here. Some of them have a point where it clamps. These are more difficult to thread, in my opinion. Okay, now this is very important right here. Your loop has to be just right. One or two sprockets off will destroy the film. And you want your loop to go right to the top of it, just about. This one here is also tricky. If you don't do this one right, you put too much, it has too much room here, it'll slam against this back plate and scratch the film. Put the bottom part here. This is also with the, film, with the sound. This is the spale tension fault. If the film is not through here, the projector will shut off. Say the film breaks or something. Alarm right here and shut the projector off. Now, oh, look what happened. The film snapped. Look at that, look at that. The second time I this did this, the last set too. Now we're gonna have to splice it. Oh, good, good, good video. Great video. Oops, splicer right here. have to splice this white lead to the white lead that broke. And free free thread. <laughs> Trying to get in there man where I can see you. The, the light's throwing a line down it. Sorry. Let me get over here where it's there. Pick out some of that light. Where this gets dark then. Let's do it down here. Do it on both sides to ensure a tight splice, very strong and sturdy. Okay, now our film is spliced back together. That does not normally happen. <laughs> now, let's line this back up here. Put it back on our path. Our whole Z threading here got messed up. That's not good. We'll fix it. Okay, we'll try this one more time. Give it a go over here. Found back. 
very gently. You don't want to pull too hard or something like that will happen. Okay, the projector is officially thread. Actually, we need to adjust this right here. One sprocket because it was too tight right there. Okay, so now over here, we have to run our white lead through to the black lead so that our guests who are watching the movie do not see white lead. You don't want to see that. Letting it go through. All right, there it is. Now it's time to start the movie. After all that work, you get to hit play. Look at that illumination right there. The dials will be lifted in just a second. And we should have it on the screen. Ah, oh, we have a problem. The framing is wrong. If the film cells are not lined up just right with the projector, that will happen. We have to adjust it. Okay, our focus looks pretty good. Nice bright screen, good illumination. We have to check our sound now. Movies don't interrupt you. Please, and so, no talking. And there you have it. Writing a 35mm projector in AMC Pictures. Thank you for watching.